Hello, this is Correctional Officers in the News. I'm your host, Laron Kuntz. And yes, the security situation in Arizona prisons has gotten to the point where it's bringing officers and inmate advocacy groups together to bring attention to the problem. The problem is the cells. The cells don't lock. For two years now, the cells in many of the cell blocks, the locking mechanism does not work. So that allows inmates to get out of their cells at any time. The inmates have attacked staff, they have attacked other inmates, and one inmate has been killed because of this cell problem. The Arizona Correctional Peace Officers Association has released several videos illustrating the problem that's going on in the Arizona prisons. Carlos Garcia, the president of the Arizona Correctional Peace Officers Association held a press conference this week to bring attention to this issue. And in his press conference, he said, and I quote, we've had one inmate killed because of doors not being fixed by this administration, two staff severely beaten with countless more that went under the table simply because they were deemed a low level thing. It's inappropriate, completely inappropriate, end quote. This is a serious issue, and I guess due to the videos that have been released, these videos, it has gotten the attention of the governor, Doug Ducey, and the correction department director, Charles Ryan, and they have vowed to do something about this issue. I don't want to neglect the fact that there was an inmate advocacy group that echoes exactly what the Correctional Officers Peace, Peace Officers Association said. And um, their group is called the Middle Ground Prison Reform. And their spokesperson is Donna Ham. And her statement was, and I quote, the department has a long and sordid history really with respect to staff and inmate safety, Ham said. We stand in support of their right to be safe in their jobs, as well as the inmates to be safe in their cells. Now, that was issued by the middle ground prison reform. Now, this situation now, correction officers will understand, you have to be able to lock the cells. Now, what they've done, because the cells don't work, they have installed padlocks on over a thousand cells in Arizona which in and of itself creates an additional security problem in the event of an emergency, a fire. Inmates will probably be injured or either die and, and, and it's a very serious it, it, um, issue because if the doors are padlocked, that means that officers will have to go to each cell and unlock each door, which will probably result if there's a serious fire in death. It's as simple as that. You need to have an electronic or a mechanical system where um, someone can open all the cells at once in the event of an emergency. So this situation has been going on for some time. Um, Donna Ham says that this situation has been going on for 20 years. And she talks about an officer that was killed in 1977, 1997, excuse me, because of bad locks. So hopefully we'll get some resolution on this. Um, we're going to be optimistic because now the governor is involved and he's vowing to take action. He's hired two retired Supreme Court justices to lead investigations into what the problem is and how to rectify the problem. So hopefully the correctional officers, staff, and inmates in the Arizona correctional system will get some sort of increased level of security hopefully in the near future. So with it with that, so with that, I would like to say until next time, this is Correctional Officers in the News. Peace and stay safe.